Using drones in the construction industry is a great way to get some great work and long-term revenue for your drone company. And we're going to be talking about using drones in construction, and I'm going to give you some really good tips on how to do that. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, and we are talking about using drones in the construction industry. And the best way to be using drones is to gather data and deliver that every week to the construction site. Now, this is not an easy thing to do, even though once you start it's great, but you need to do a lot of planning, you need to work with the construction company in order to make sure that you get the right height, settings, and also platform, and also using the right drone. So what drones could we use for the construction industry? Well, you can be using, for example, the Mini 3 Pro. It's not a bad drone, but the sensor is quite small and I wouldn't be using that drone for major work. But you can also use, for example, the Air 2S. This is also a very, very good drone. Uh, it has a good sensor uh, and it works well with uh, drone deploy. Um, and you could also use the Phantom 4, which is also uh, actually supported with likes of drone deploy and whatnot as well. Good drone. However, this is very much in the end of life. So if something happens to this drone, it's not easy to replace because you really need to be consistent with your data. So when you start a project, and if it's going to be a year or even, even up to two years long, it's going to be difficult to, re to actually um, and replace this drone or even get some, some, some new battery. So I personally would not use the Phantom 4. I would not use the Mini 3. But my favourite drone, my go-to drone for construction is the Mavic 3 Enterprise where we also have the RTK module on here as well. This is a fantastic drone and I think it's very future-proof at the moment, so we can be working for one, two, maybe even three years and this drone will still be valid for it. So this is my go-to drone. It's, it is quite expensive, but you know, once you start with that, you are then on the way. So what platforms can you use? Well, with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you can use the Pilot 2 app and you can do all the planning for, for, for the construction there, but you can also use Drone Deploy, and Drone Deploy is a great application, and it's something which I'm seeing more and more construction companies using themselves, so they actually have their own Drone Deploy platform, and they will invite you to be a collaborator on their platform, which I think is really, really good as well. Um, but when it comes to planning, what I would say that you should start to do is talk to them about what's happening on the building site. So are they going to be using cranes? And if they're using cranes, what will the maximum height of that crane be? Now, throughout the entire project, the cranes will move. So you have to know what the maximum height of those cranes will be in all those places because you have to set the height of the mapping machine and make sure that it will not change throughout the entire project. So find out the maximum height of the, of the cranes throughout the entire project and then you can set the height to be maybe 10 or 50 meters above that, just to be sure. But I like to have a 75 meter height for all of these missions, because it tends to be the safe one. Also, make sure you do a site survey to check for any obstacles, such as trees, other buildings, or even power cables that could be uh, you know, in the area, because that could have an effect on your missions as well. Because once you start, you want to be consistent with the data. Okay, another point, when you go on site for the very first time is you'll have to be safe. And you have to have your personal protective equipment such as hard hat, reflective jacket or vest, uh, hard boots, and you may even have to have special pants as well because uh, the construction site will want you to be safe. You may also have to attend a health and safety course for that construction company as well. That will take a few hours. So this is really important that you comply with their health and safety. And if you also have a health and safety card for your own work that you do, which they may require you to have, you can also get one of those cards as well. We have one here, and this is something that we have to show when we go on site. So all of these type of things you have to be aware of. So it's not just a case of showing up and flying and then, and then landing the drone. You have to be able to gain access and you have to be safe. Uh, also, you should check your airspace. Make sure that your airspace will be clear when you fly. Make sure there's no hospitals nearby because you might have helicopters coming in. Uh, that's something I have with uh, you know a current project I have right now is that there's a hospital nearby, so I have to be aware if they're, if, if they're flying in the area. I, I am safe to fly, but if they are coming in, then I have to be able to give them space. 
So all these things you need to make sure. So when you start, make sure that you get the model set, that you know what you're going to be flying for the entire time of the project. That could be once a week, it could be twice a month, it could be once a month, but you know, generally it tends to be once a week that you fly. So when you're doing this, this is going to be your mission every time. And it seems quite simple, but you need to be actually compliant about what you're doing. Also, make sure that you're not flying and then you're gathering all the data in raw mode because that has happened to me once as well. I was flying with the Mavic 3 Enterprise and I didn't check the pilot app up and straight into drone deploy and launch the mission. And I noticed the SD card was going up quite high. And yeah, um, it was set on raw for the photography. So uh, um, I did manage to convert all the photos and keep the location data for the uh, JPEGs as well. It took a couple of hours, but you know, it was done. So you could add that to your pre-flight as well. So these are things you need to be very much aware of when you're flying, uh, doing the construction work, but it, it can be very, very lucrative for you. And uh, I, I do recommend that you start to look at this kind of work if you get offered it. But what do you think? Have, have you started to do this? Is this something that you would like to get into? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, please, because this is a very helpful video. And bookmark this video because you might want to come back and check that as well when you start to do this kind of work. So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, fly safe and be safe.